Today I'll be going over the threat levels of the SCP Foundation. Most of the time you will find these on the international branch, but I have seen these on the English branch as well. Many SCP reports, primarily from the French branch, but also on the Portuguese branch, the English branch, etc., utilize an indicator called Threat Level. This indicates the intensity of the danger represented by the anomaly, taking into account the unpredictability and the chances that it will cause damage or casualties, civilians or Foundation personnel. This indicator makes it possible to quickly and effectively evaluate the dangerousness that the SCP may exhibit when not contained. This indicator is complementary to the standard object classes, making it possible to identify the difficulty of an anomaly's containment as well. Just like the object class, the threat level of an anomaly can change. The linked documentation is then modified accordingly. Classification The Foundation utilizes the following threat levels, each associated with a different color. White. A white threat level indicates an anomaly that is beneficial to the Foundation, such as aiding in its goals, containing other anomalies, or protecting personnel. Its usage, however, remains strictly regulated and absolutely must respect the anomaly's secure containment protocols. Blue. A blue threat level indicates an anomaly that is potentially beneficial to the Foundation, but is too unpredictable or restricted for its usage to be standardized, for example, because of its overly specific activation conditions or its random nature. Green. A green threat level indicates an anomaly that causes no beneficial or harmful effects, whether or not its special containment procedures are followed. However, depending on how the anomaly is used or approached, it could indirectly cause beneficial or harmful effects. Yellow. A yellow threat level indicates an anomaly that is possibly dangerous but easy to recontain. It applies, for example, if the anomaly remains stable as long as certain conditions aren't met, or if, even in action, it can easily be controlled through applying its special containment procedures. Orange. An orange threat level indicates an anomaly that is potentially dangerous, sometimes unpredictable, and can't easily be controlled. This is also the lowest level attributed to sentient entities, given their ability to vary their behavior and adapt to evade their special containment procedures or deceive Foundation personnel. Red. A red threat level indicates an anomaly that is capable of causing large-scale damage, sometimes in an unpredictable manner. A containment breach may be synonymous with a K-class scenario and should be considered a priority. Black. A black threat level indicates an anomaly that is capable of causing damage on a global scale. A containment breach is synonymous with a K-class scenario and should be considered a top priority. Undetermined An undetermined threat level indicates an anomaly whose dangerousness is impossible to determine or is too variable or unclear for this data to be relevant. Translator's Note The undetermined tag does not exist on the International Translation Archive.